Stop. Listen, we are excited. Yes. We are excited. We got a new presenter sponsor, Jack Pocket. One yes. thing about Jack Pocket, they're going to sock it to your pocket like a rocket if yes. you win. America's number one lottery app. I don't yes. care if it's state. I don't care if it's national. Yes. You can play right on your phone with Jack Pocket. What are you waiting for? Download the app right now. Listen, your first, I'm telling you, you're going to get your first ticket for free yep. when you use code Gilly. Yep. That's all you got to do is use code Gilly. Let me tell you something. Mega Millions is currently over a half a billion dollars and over $540 million in lottery prizes have already been won on Jack Pocket. So guess what? We are socking to your pocket with Jack Pocket. <laughs> Get down with them. Download Jack Pocket today. Use code Gilly. G-I-L-L-I-E. Jack, Jack Pocket. Pocket. America's, America's number, number one, one lottery app. Why would you go to anybody else when you could whip your phone out? A whip whip! Punching cool gilly. Oh, wait, wait. Let's get it. What are you waiting for? Sock it to your pocket with Jack Pocket. Right. You're now tuned into me, 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 Believable, mm -hmm. um, you know, and you know, Joyner. I don't know what 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 made you what made you even create a song that everybody that ever won in life is going through. I'm a dude. Spent 20 years in prison. Come home. Been home seven years. Get up every day. Work. Go hard. Come up. And then for some reason, people be entitled to what you have and what you work for for some reason. And it's like. It's never about what they give you, what you mm. give somebody. It's about what you have. I mm. want your life. Mm. I want the women that stalk you. I want mm. the jewelry you got. I want the car you got. I mm. want your life. I want your life. And if I can't have your life, I secretly hate you. Right. I really don't like you because no matter what you give me, it's never enough. You give me ten thousand, mm. I'm gonna go mess it up because I didn't work for it. Come back, I need twenty damn. Mm. I don't do it going back down the way. Tell a bunch of people that's not doing nothing with their life. Oh, he's fronting on me. He's Hollywood. I don't even, like, like, what made you come up? Did, did you really have Broski? Like, Broski? Yeah, yeah, Broski is like a, like, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the reason why I wrote that album was off, of, based off of the concept of that, of Broski. You know what I mean? You know, just, um, just dealing with, you know, throughout the years, you know, when you come, become successful, you know, I, I, I was watching, um, I just interviewed with Hove the other day where he's, he, he said, yeah, I remember. Some people have the mentality of, you know, your success means their downfall. You know what I'm saying? Which was, which which was was striking to me, right? Because that's exactly what Broski is about. You know what I mean? And you know that's that's really kind of been the sentiment of, of my life for a couple years, for sure. He was pissed. Like the video displayed it in the greatest way. Like it was just like, cause cause he told you, as you sat in the chair, what. They usually tell the people around you. They don't tell you that. The way he feel, that's when he be telling his baby mom, he be telling, yeah, man, he owe me, man. He posted, man, I was there when he was when he was in the studio all night. I was there. You didn't make the song. He did. Mm -hmm. I was there. No, no, he took you. He paid for your hotel on the flight. Mm -hmm. You didn't. I was there, man. He, I held him down when the bulls, ain't nothing happened. You just, he paid. Like you ate, remember when you ate that night at the Cheesecake Factory? He paid for that. And he got you some chicks when y'all was in. Detroit, like everything was on him. You never did that with the money he gave you. You, you thought you was living his life. So that song right there was so powerful. You know man. what was the greatest part about that song? It wasn't just that the, that he was telling him how he felt. It was the finesse to get up to the point to tell him how he was. It was he, the he, finesse. He, 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 you know, he, I've been there for he, you. He you my up. dude. I'm better you. You know what I mean? Thanks. Ain't nobody ever like you. You know what I'm saying? You the shit. But you owe me. Nigga. Like, wait, wait, hold on, wait. Mm -hmm. And that's what you do. Like, you tell me, one of the main things you tell me is, because I don't really f with nigga, because I just was in jail with 5,000, and a nigga would come around you <clears throat> early in the day in jail, bust it up, have conversations with all you, day. do all this shit all day to get to the end of the night just to ask you for a suit. Before it's lockup time. Tell me all these stories. Like, and Gil always say, because you always in the cut. Like me, I'm the type of boy, do this, go to go home. I'm going home, lock the door, go in the crib and chill. Watch some YouTube, do some studying, whatever. 
And he'd be like, Damn, you don't dudes to see him. Why well, don't in the car by myself? Bro, like, now this was around 5,000 dudes for 7,300 days. You think I want to be around you dudes? And if you not got nothing going on, like, we not going to... We not going to sugarcoat in the cap. You got people that's genuinely love you. You know my people, mm-hmm. not genuine. But what do we f- got in common? How is we going to mutually benefit this relationship? Why is we could like we not kids to just be? Oh, let's post up and kick it. Mm-hmm. Let's be on the yeah. block. Let's be homies. No, well, how has this been mutually yeah. beneficial for both of us? I know what I do. I know what I could do. I know why you're around now. What, what value are you bringing me? Right. So to avoid all the hate, the fake homies, sh- the fake kicking it, the you my bro. I'm going to just go my way. Mm-hmm. Now, you said Broski is the main reason you created the rest of the, the rest of the album. Tell me how the process went. The process of creating the album. So not now I'm busy really. Um, is has really been my life for the last couple of years, you know, and, and I feel like before, um, before I got on, I was in, survival mode, you know, for my, my whole life I've been in survival mode. So, you know, when I when I actually, you know, got enough bread to actually chill for a second, you know what I'm saying? I started to discover who I was and started to learn a lot about me. Um and during that time, you know, I was faced with, you know, a lot of broski situations and it really turned me into a different person. You know what I'm saying? And if you look at the cover and you know, you see the blood on there on my face, you know, with that you know, the deeper meaning to the album is really just me killing my old self to become a new version of myself. But that new version of myself isn't necessarily, you know, the the and um the most positive version of myself, right? It's kinda like it's kinda like, you know, I'm I'm you know, I'm different now in a in a negative way because of that, because of the traumas, you know, the things that you the, the things that I face. So, you know, a lot of people you know, when they when they um, are going through life, you know, they become enlightened and, you know, they're changing in a positive way. And I think that the opposite has happened to me because I felt like, you know, I was a more positive person before. Um, and due to my, you know, the traumas and, you know, other success and um, I feel like that I'm a different person now in a, in a, in a negative way. You know what I'm saying? And... So the process has been pretty much that. Dude, so you, they, they, the, the, the tribes and tribulations of your journey, your life, and the ups and downs, the bruise, the beat up, it leads you to go through all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And then, you know what's so funny? I know they saying to themselves, then you got the dadsy to say, not now, and I'm busy. Mm-hmm. That's like a spit in the face out here to people, mm-hmm. too. Like That's like, man, you ain't answering my call, man. You want some... You're trying to juggle a bunch of different things at once, you know, when you reach a certain level of success. And only people that really, you know, have reached a certain level of success can understand what it's like, you know what I mean, to be that busy to where, you know, I didn't purposely leave you on red. You know what I'm saying? You text me and right when I was responding to you, I had to hop on a a business phone call, right? A million dollar business phone call. But you wouldn't know nothing about that. So... Forgive me for not texting you back right away because I'm in the middle of a two, three hour, couple million dollar, you know, conversation, you know, that's going to keep this thing going. And then by the time you hang up with that conversation, I got my son wanting to spend some time with me, right? So then a day or two go by and I forget to hit you back. But because you got too much time on your hands, you took that personal, right? And now it's, oh, you don't want to respond back to me. You think you too good. You left me on red. You wasn't like that before. You think that just because you got some money now that you can do that and now that, yada, 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 broski. You see? And now you jumped out the window. Now you online, popping, joining things, he this and that, and now it's too late to mend it or fix it because you fucked up and you jumped out there and, you know, you really savaged the friendship. I don't want, I went through this shit with friends, family, but even worse situations than that. That was light, a light situation. And these are that you really have love for. To jump out the window like that because they don't understand. They are not. They don't. They See, don't the, get the it. The old Jordan was forget. He'll forgive. For sure. You know, I know him. Well, it's a twelve little years. Close, close, I, I know him twelve years. I know right. him. You know, fifteen years. This your business I, partner. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not. But the new Jordan, like, fuck you. You're done. Cut. Done. You're out. You got this weight that just hangs, and 
I ain't carrying you. Well, let me just say this. You when you mean? say, when you say, you know, doing all this process, it made you, it made you worse in a negative way. I don't really look at it as in a negative way. Yeah. Because I understood what you were saying. Some people might not understand what you're saying. Well, how did it make them? Ne no, because I used to be a happy-go-lucky with everybody that was cool with everybody but after a while that stem burnt the fuck out mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so now when you burn me out i can't be that person that i used to be now i gotta be a little bit more hardcore mm -hmm. but that's not a negative thing yeah. that's a positive thing because you got a weed from <laughs> a way who don't appreciate what you bring to the table what you bring to them the value you bring to them because nine times out of ten when we in the position that we in we bring way more value to a n than they bring to us and that ain't no slap in the face. It's just that you, you wasn't blessed to be but in the yeah, position that I am. I thank but it God happened, for that. It happened with family though too. Yeah. So you know it's so when they it, the main when, ones it happened so, with. Yeah. So so when it happened with them, it's a little bit different because it's hurt. family. It hurt, right? Like it take you time to get over that and be okay with like I right, I can feel like that. But that ain't it's a not, negative. It's not thing. like that. You know what I mean? No, nah, but that's not the, so, that's not the negative thing. The negative thing is who you turn into due to your traumas and your scars of yeah. that keep okay. happening, right? So mm -hmm. now it's like you, not you know, person. you're not the same person. Now you got your, your patience level is a little bit thinner. Now you're not yeah. so warm anymore. You know, now you're not so welcoming anymore. Now due to that, you know, you changed up. Your personality just, it might change a little bit based off of that. And then now it's like, yo, what's up? It's different now, right? And it's, you know, it's because of that. But I think that it's necessary though for me to protect my peace though. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I had to kill off the old me to become the new version of myself. And that's the new version of myself. The new version of myself is you. You feel me? So the old me was more like, oh, you know, that's my nigga, that's my cousin, that's my, you know what I'm saying? We try to understand where you're coming from and try to like, you know, mend the shit, all that. It's deep mm -hmm. because, um, you know, we live in a time now and you said it, you said it before, you said once, once people ain't get what they want or whatever happened, certain things happen it was like it, it was on the time it was on the time like oh i'm gonna go online i'm gonna disrespect him online i'm gonna do all that yeah um and we live in a time now where it's though you know you call it the cat williams effect now but see this is what people gotta understand and this is for you out there it's only gonna be one cat williams cat williams didn't prepare to go viral cat williams was just <laughs> being him so mm -hmm. if that's your thing if that's what you're trying you're wasting your time bro i've had I've had that I grew up with, right? That I had made music with coming up, right? It just in the crib, in the trap, you feel me like this, like setting in the studio, trying yada, 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 trying to come up, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, we, we, we go off on our own ways in life and then I end up coming up and becoming who I am, but you know, those people, you know, the broski effect. And it's like when you don't do for them or you don't put them on and you don't like my expect you to just be like, yo, here, here's Eminem's number. You know what I'm saying? Give him a call. <laughs> yo, jump on. Lucky you with me and M, right? I know I don't know who you are, but it's cool. You know, jump. Yo, here's this Chris Brown song. Jump on this. Like they think that it works like that. It don't work like that. And because it doesn't work like that and you don't do for Turn around and and diss me like. But why can't? But 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 all right. Make this record. So so this for, video for for the for the for the yeah. for the lame and eye out there for the naked eye out there that don't know. Yeah. In particular, as an industry, why can't you just hey, I'm your homie. Why you can't put me in a song with you and Eminem? It don't work like that because you gotta, it, you gotta get clearances. So you gotta get a label waiver, mm -hmm. right, from the label. You know so. You're gonna have to pay for it. And, and, and you know M, I mean? and M don't know me, but you know I mean? but I'm hot. I'm hot like you. M don't know you. And a, and a lot of artists though, they don't. A lot of artists don't really got the rights to do that. The label got the rights to be able to waive that verse. So you gotta go through a label, like mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So, but 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 I'm hot just like you and Eminem. Don't matter. <laughs> like, don't why matter. I can't get... As a manager, that's my response. That, you know what I'm saying? I give him the business. These like... my <laughs> social media and my two thousand followers and. 100 monthly listeners on their Spotify, it don't matter, right? It's like, you, I can't just throw you on a song with M or put you on a song but with Chris or say throw I'm you on a song city. with everybody, Nas. That's right. Everybody but, from our neighborhood said <laughs> exactly, I'm Exactly, exactly. It's a 100%. But I done had, 
I done had cousins. I done had cousins jump out the window. This me, this my mother. Mm. On my mom, on my pop, yeah. on my fam. This my, like, nigga, just on some, like, F you, you know what I'm saying? You didn't, you know, and it's like, that sh hurts. Because it's like, damn. Like disrespect this you and your mom, <laughs> yo. But it's like, yo, if I do that, don't got cold, look, bro. if I do they that, don't got no if I do that, then I'm gonna get the clout. I'm gonna put your name on it, and it's gonna be Jordan Lucas. This and it's then people gonna get hear a reaction it, from get him. a reaction out of me. So it go two ways. Either I'm gonna get clout, or you gonna diss me, and then you are gonna give me clout. Right? Yeah. Either way, you're not giving me clout, so I'm gonna take the clout one way or another. Right? Yeah. So it's desperation. At the, out of desperation, it's sad. My name. It's like. React. But that's just one, but again, that's just one sentiment of one, that's that's like one thing out of the millions of other things that I've had to go through with the people that, you know, that were close to me at one point. You understand what I'm saying? And these relationships were mendable mm -hmm. or with time. You know, time heals wounds, you know what I'm saying? But then when my jump out the window and they start like doing too much, you know what I mean? Really Showing are. you who they really are. And it's not an apology that can really fix that shit. Bro, did broski, it's not really, huh? Did Broski reach out when you made that song about him? It was mad did, Broski. That did, 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 did the real Broski? It was it was one person <laughs> intentionally that I mean it was one person directly that was Broski. No, I think did that was, person. There was a lot. I think there was a lot. There was a lot of there Broskis. Lot, bro. it was, I don't think it was. There real. was a lot, was but a here's lot. the ironic part about the it was, Broski record. It was record. happening like it was just Damn. it just out of nowhere it just started happening. I ain't happy. Look, you gotta no. understand, right? So this episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by DraftKings. TD. Touchdown, Tutty, taking it to the house, in for six, whatever you like to call a touchdown. One thing's for sure, touchdowns matter more at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sportsbook partner of the NFL. On the ground, in the air, from special teams or defense, we don't care how they score them, we want to bet on touchdowns. And DraftKings Sportsbook is delivering. Ready to place your first bet? Try betting on something simple like picking a player to score a touchdown or how many TDs will be in a game. Go to DraftKings Sportsbook app and make your pick. Ready to do your touchdown dance on your own? New DraftKings customers bet $5 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. So that's bet $5 and get 200. Look at the math on this. Five dollars and two hundred in bonus bets, and all you gotta do is put in promo code Gilly. I'm looking out. Whip out your phone right now. Download the DraftKings app. Put in promo code Gilly. Bet five dollars and get two hundred in bonus bets instantly. What are we waiting on? The crown is yours. Time to put it on. Right, DraftKings. We get we get off a label deal 2019. So mm -hmm. he starts making bread. You know what I'm saying? Because we've got no label now, right? Mm -hmm. And that's when everything just starts. That's where you, your journey starts. You le start learning, right? Because mm -hmm. yeah. you're going to do a favor here. You're going to buy... You're Hold on, which means, which means that pre-2019 was Eminem, Chris Brown, I'm not, I'm not racist. You know, So they still have this expectation that mm -hmm. he a multi-millionaire signed at this record label. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the truth is... I was nah, broke. I was he broke. He made nothing off the label, right? Because they eat everything. Oh, 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 oh. which means he was deal. broke. I was broke, nigga. Like I didn't, I didn't put it like this. Like when you I you had was, a song with Chris Brown, Eminem, right, and all, and you was broke. I was broke, right? But it's like the perception was that I was rich. You feel me? But I was still climbing. I was signed to a label, yeah. right? And I had you get a sixteen percent royalty, mm -hmm. right? But you're not gonna see any of it because when if they spend a hundred thousand dollars. They take a 20% distribution fee, so now you're down to 80. Then they're going to give you a 16% royalty, so you're down to what, like th 13,000, right? Yeah. That 13,000 is what's recouping the 100,000 that just got spent because <clears throat> it recoups against the royalty. So mm -hmm. you're always in the red. Mm -hmm. And you get your accounting statement in six months, right? So you're six months behind on anything you've earned. Mm -hmm. You don't even get paid for the first 60 days, so you're really only getting payments of three months mm -hmm. in your first six-month statement. So you can't really make a forecast on how much money you've made until you're in like month 18 because mm -hmm. then you could see a real what does you know 12 to 16 months look like of royalties. Mm -hmm. By the time you're over here, they've already hit you with another advance and got you into your next option. Mm -hmm. 
Uh-huh. You follow me? So the, it, the the way the labels is set up, it's a systematic like trap Absolutely. in the finances. So an artist cannot grow. You know, they can control exactly what you're gonna get. So we went into the deal, and <clears throat> he had to fulfill <clears throat> his first option. That's how it started. But it's like we're not making no bread. It's like you got your advance, and that's right. it. So I'm fighting them. I'm on joints, doing joints with Marshall, um, Chris. You know, I'm I'm killing. And they're getting paid. They're getting paid, but I wasn't getting paid from that. So it's like it's signed to them. 100%. They, they own the but vocals, the perception the was the perception was I was already rich, mm-hmm. but I wasn't. You feel me? I'm still trying to figure out what the, I'm. I had to do some street in order to make a little bit of bread here and there. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But apart from that, like niggas fucked up out here. You know what I'm saying? So. Because the perception was I was already on, niggas had the expectation of like, put me on. Put me on a song with M. Put me on a song with this. Put me on a song with Chris. Oh, you're not helping me. You're not doing this for me. You're not doing that for me. I, and they dispose of me and they sh on me and they jump on the internet and they talk about me. And you know, I had like, yo, it's bad. It's, it's like, imagine, right? Imagine you built up ops, right? Like, your success, right? A lot of rappers and like from where you from, jealous, right? Because you in position and they not, right? So now it's like, if you're not gonna put me on, I'm gonna either diss you, I'm gonna use you for clout, you're gonna either respond to me and you're gonna give me clout or I'm gonna get clout one way or another, right? And then is you 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 built up ops like this, right? So you got that's really jumping out the window. So these is going online, and these like, you know, now it turned into some beast. Where it's like, yeah, nigga, you know what I mean? I'm trying to find you, trying to da da da. But how about your own pops is a broski? That in the comments, like, oh, you want to know on my son? You want to know dirt on my son? You want to know where that be at? You want to know information about him? How about that, bro? There's a record. There's right. a, there's a reason why these records hit so deep. Like you can't make it up. Like you understand what I'm saying? Damn, dead in the comments. The reason the record is such a masterpiece. I got, nigga. It's I got because it's, fucking it's screenshot. That, it's that authentic. You know what I mean? Like, picture your own pops, nigga. Like trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Like Instagram, on social the, media, on the on the ops. You feel me? Social media is because he mad. Because he and mad. Not privately, like on display. Because he mad. You know what I'm saying? Because he feel like you ain't do exactly for him what you exactly. were supposed to do for him. You ain't buy him a new Benz. I ain't buy him a new Benz. I put it was actually I did. I retired my mom's. You feel me? And it was like I should have did that for her. Well, no, you kind of did. Like he took his like hundred yeah. K Atlantic events and mm-hmm. took like after commissions that took took like thirty thousand of it and gave it to his mom. And then was like, which was only, realize. which was only after the <laughs> hundred, had like 30, 40 G's left. I had a hundred K advance. I took, um, after like everybody got paid out, yeah. after everybody got paid out, I got stuck with 60 K and I gave half of that to my mom. I told her to retire. But at this time I'm thinking more, bread, gonna shit, more bread is going to come in. I'm mm-hmm. signed I now. I didn't realize I'm until gonna... after that I fucked up and I'm like, oh shit, I realized what the situation was, but this was jealous of that, right? Like, you should you should have did that for me, right? And it's like, nigga, I would never, like, nigga, I want my, like, my son, I'm on his ass, you know what I'm saying? Pause, to respect his moms, to love his moms, mm-hmm. to want him to, you know what I'm saying, to take mm-hmm. care of his mom, you know what I'm saying? His mom come first, nigga, me, bro. Like, it's your mom, you know what I'm saying? Every man should feel like that moms come first. How the f*** are you going to feel like you come first, nigga? You know what I'm saying? And especially with the type of nigga that he was, you feel me? So it's like, but just imagine, this is all broski. This all plays a part in the whole broski shit. It's deeper than just that. So I got that shit going on. I got and I got cousins and family members and my friends and, you know, all at the same time. People you're doing business with. That shit turned me into a different nigga, bro. It turned me into a whole different nigga. And if you go watch, like, my first interviews, like with the Breakfast Club, I was like a, real giddy and like cheesy and happy to be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, and just I was a whole different. 
it was like when you was watching Pac mm -hmm. when he was 16 and he was yeah. talking about girls and he was like girls and you know and then turned 23 and he's like F them hoes right mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's like something did that to that yeah. you yeah. feel me because he wasn't like that mm -hmm. that's what not now I'm busy is man. like that's where I'm at with the shit now you feel me like so it's 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 more than just one broski or one situation, right? It's like you're going through this shit with multiple situations. But when you reach a certain level of success, that's what happens. And you have to sacrifice that shit. Like you can't have the money and have everybody that was there. And, you know, you can't. It's like we got some people got to go, right? It's just, everybody can't go. Facts. That's just a plane. And when the train take off, everybody can't go. If, if, if you're a liability and not an asset, you can't get on this train. <clears throat> that, that's just the reality of it. And a lot of times, you know, you have friends, right? And y'all come up together. Y'all got dreams together. And you, <clears throat> y'all got wants and y'all got ideas. And y'all want to get all this shit out, right? But shit might start happening for you and ain't happening for him. But as shit happening for you, you see more. You learn more shit. You go more places, Places. you growing in life. This is still staying the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I had to let go because I would come home from being on tour with cash, money, and shit. I'm coming home feeling good. Got my money right. I'm a, I come home and talk about who got the package in the hood. Yeah, because such and such got. Oh, man, I don't want to hear about that shit, man. I just, oh, no, I got to go. I'm getting away from this, man. You, because it's like, bro, I'm in a different space. Mm -hmm. And you still talking about the shit we used to talk about six years ago, my mm -hmm. nigga. I'm not 22 no more. Now I'm 28. Mm -hmm. But you still got a 22-year-old mentality. <coughs> so you know what? I f*** with you. I love you, but I got to love you from a distance. I got to love you from a phone call a once, a two months. Yeah, what's up? You cool? You living? All right, bet. All right. I can't because you going to jeopardize what the f*** I got going on. Excellent. And ain't nothing going to jeopardize what the f*** I got going on because I got kids that depend on me. I got a wife that depend on me. I got mama. I got a dad. I got sisters. I got nephews, nieces. So you ain't going to never f*** what I got going on. So a lot of times you got to leave where they at. Thanks. And they're going to be mad and they're going to talk shit and they're going to be. But my favorite line is if God wanted you to have it, you would have it. That's real shit. That's real. You know, so so as, you know, because that seemed like that, that, that really... That really hurts you in a, a major niggas, way. Then how old is you now? 35. I'm 35 Savage now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> turned to a savage. <laughs> but, but, but how, did you, shit, how huh? did you, how how was you able to get your head up, look up, and start really working on the project? Because you, you addressed so much on Broski. That was like, that was a one-shot deal. That's all you need. So that was like a bomb. Yeah. Boom! That, kill that all the, that was like kill that all the Broskis. And, boom! Yeah, what the interesting thing about that is that when you drop when you drop a record like Broski, right? If you are a Broski, <laughs> you 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 are now forced to deal with two things. Number one, you have to acknowledge that you're Broski. They're not gonna do that. And number two, you now have to see every person who shared, liked, commented on that video, right, telling you that you're a Broski, right? <laughs> right? So it's like, yeah, because, yeah. because they only go out there. Because everybody that got his broski, yeah. they like, yeah. Bro, Man, yeah. I posted it like two times. Yeah. I had 400,000 shares on the shade room. Yeah. Bananas, bro. It's like yeah. top five posts on their page. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. everybody, because in a person that know that person is liking or sharing it on their stuff, they know they talking about them. Right. Yeah. Oh, they that's know. what I'm saying. And that's it's like, vicious. you're forced to, you're for, and I know a couple broskis that shared the shit. <laughs> broski, I know a couple broskis that shared it, but, but it was, but like, it was yo, so this hot. Shit fire it. it was so hot. Yo, said, yo, yo, this fire. Yeah, this, this goes out to all the broskis out there. I'm like, you, 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 you the shit for right. you, nigga. I just want to say this. By far, he got to be one of the coolest that ever came did the show because he the only ever used my show as a resting pad. So let me tell you what's happening. Yo, this, this couch a little tight, bro. I'm, I'm stuck in the corner over here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I mean, at first I didn't know if he was trying to show the legs off or what. <laughs> nah, he said, yeah, nigga. let me tell you something, nigga. <laughs> yeah, me. Broski. Broski. Head on in your face, yo. Let me tell you that. <laughs> how, how, has, yeah. how has your independence been treating you? Because, like, to be on a, to be on a, because there's a battle going on out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The battle is, you know, you got a lot of people with no money 
saying, I'm going independent, I'm going independent, I'm yeah. going independent, not yeah. knowing that independent need money. All the young boys, <laughs> a lot of the young boys out here, oh, I'm going independent. Mm -hmm. I'm going in, I'm keeping my masters. You don't have no hot music to keep your masters. Right. Nobody care that you keep it. <laughs> right, right. I'm just being straight up. <laughs> your masters like, ain't like, need like, masters. No, they no, minors, no, no, nigga. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, like on some real stuff. Like on some, like on, like on some real <laughs> stuff. <laughs> masters don't mean <laughs> Listen, like on some real stuff, we need to do a PSA, and the PSA need to go to this. Stop rapping, go get a job. Mm. It ain't, it ain't. Mm. Stop rapping and go get a job. I, I made a post. You know what's funny? I made a post um, like probably like a month ago where I was like, yo, real question. To all you upcoming rappers and shit out there, what is your cutoff? Right? When do you when I'm at, doing one, that post. at what point do you just say, you know what? <laughs> this shit ain't working. <laughs> That's it. A lot of got mad at me for that. Like, oh, you see Jelly Roll, he's 40 something years old and he just made it and yada 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 and that's true right that's a fact that's he, one that's one he jelly roll country it. singer man yeah, he pushed one. that he pushed through that's right? one dude but but two, cha no, two chains did that two chains pushed through no no but it's different it's but different he was already in the game he was already in the game he was already in the game he was for sure it was just a hit so i said he was mad at you they was mad at me they was like oh how could you say that i'm 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 asking when did you cut off said what how could you say that you sound like you're trying to tell us to quit and tell us you know this is not what i expect from you and as an independent artist you should know you know how hard it is to get in the game and why would you try to tell people that they should i'm like listen man i'm not telling anybody they should do anything i'm telling y'all because my cutoff was 26 to 28 like it was like if i'm not Close to getting to where I need to go, I'm I'm selling drugs, man. I'm I'm, I'm selling bricks and kilos and shit. Like I'm I'm not going to work a nine to five. I tell you that shit. Like there's no there's no goddamn way. And my was just like, oh, you know. No, no because because yeah. it should be a cutoff. What's the cutoff? I just think no, 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 I think if you're in your if you're in your late thirties and you had no motion, <laughs> you should have been you, you, go do construction, nigga. <laughs> this episode of Me and Ours Worth a Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, life ain't going your way. Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. You caught your woman cheating today. Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. You thought that check was coming and it didn't come your way. Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. Also, is also good for pre-gaming as well. So when you out and about at your local liquor store, don't you just walk past that? You know what to do. Ah, 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 boop. Get it home. Put it on ice. You can drink it straight up. Juice, soda, whatever you like. Or you could just make a classic New Amsterdam meal. That's up to you. But when you're out and about at your local liquor store, you know what to do. Get you some New Amsterdam vodka. That would be the official vodka of Barstool Sports. I'm going to say that one more time. That would be the official vodka of Barstool Sports. New Amsterdam vodka. It's no better choice. Right. But, bro, what's the chances you get some motion, man? <laughs> my, my get motion be young, man. Because be excited for you, you young. You young, yeah, he doing it, man. You know such and such, son, hot. man. He doing he it, man. He do <laughs> when you've been trying to do this for 15 years, you ain't got no groupies. You ain't even got no groupies, man. That's the first level entry, man. Yeah. Groupies, man. Suck your dick, man. I like this all. Slap yourself all in the face with your That's the first entry of, of being of being a good rapper. If you 30 some years old, you still ain't got no groupies, man. You ain't got no motion, man. Ain't no pistol, pistol whipping theyself with your dick. None of that. They not coming up to you talking about, I want to go home with you. You have no motion. Get that shit up, bro. You wasting time. <coughs> yeah, like motherfuckers, it's motherfuckers that popped off in their 30s, mm. like Griselda. But they had motion where they was at. Yeah, yep. was, was you might didn't know about them in, in Iowa, or you might didn't know about them in Atlanta, but in Buffalo, they knew them, them had motion. Yeah, shout out to Griselda. Shout so out. it's different. It's like, oh, Jelly Roll popped on those. Jelly Roll had some knew who Jelly Roll was. Jelly Roll said to herself, this ain't working. But, Sing but, on down but, but the line. Stop telling you. Honey, is it time to go? Stop trying to use. He switched it to 
fuck with them. Kill them. But join it. They got to stop trying to use join it. They got to stop trying to use join it. But this is the thing, join it. They got to stop trying to use as an example 15 people out of 2 million people that's rapping. Stop trying to use 2 million. 2 billion rapping. It's 8 billion. I might got a verse right now. If I told to get in the booth. Everybody wants to be a rapper. Oh, rapper. Oh, now, now this is the whole thing. You got rapper. <laughs> Listen, podcast is the new rapper. Oh, then it's it's ten yeah, yeah. billion podcasts out here. There's a lot of podcasts. Podcast. And this is what I'm gonna say about your podcast. A lot of you is y'all just start for nothing. Nobody never listened to you. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> never listened to you coming up. You never had no game. You never got no. First of all, if you a man and you got a podcast and you're bit ugly, you, nobody listens to nobody <laughs> ugly. A woman is the easiest thing you could get on planet Earth. You are ugly, and you giving out game. Get the yeah, f- off the screen, man. <laughs> Nobody's not listening to you, man. All right, man, I'm sorry, man. Go ahead, man. Just go ahead. I'm sorry, man. But yo, speak of, of speaking of, no, let him go. That's all I'm saying. Though. Speaking of uh, podcast though, and all the billions of podcasts. Shout out to million dollars worth of game Thank though you, for being, you know, one of the ones. You feel me, like. What you guys have done. And I told Gil, you know, years ago, I hit him up. I already seen what he was up to. I seen what he was doing. Mm-hmm. He was been giving a million dollars worth of game and shit. And like, I, that shit. Cause like, he, I, this was teaching me and schooling me on shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, secretly motherfucking, like, giving me some game. You feel me? And I, and I hit him up. I told him, I let him know. You know what I'm you saying? Did. Like, nigga, you appreciated that real too. shit. But I love what you did. You know what I'm saying? How you took it from there. And now we here. Nigga. You got like, come on, bro. You doing these big deals? Appreciate big you, deals. With this wallow, y'all yeah. killing. I mean, cuz killed it. Nigga. Now I want to so. ask you something important. Yeah, yeah. Now that we talk about independence, for sure. <laughs> y'all got it. Y'all, y'all business partners. Y'all got a real independent company. You're doing thing, everything from the muscle. How much money did it take to start this independence? Like, how much money did y'all really had to put up to say we starting our own thing? I'm gonna back your play. Like, well, it had to go in phases. Put, put, in, put in the mic. It went through phases. Mm-hmm. It went through phases. So it's like his first investor was somebody that just believed in him. Mm-hmm. And it started with like what? 30,000? Like, it was about, rest in peace, my brother Abe. He was, rest he was in peace, a, Abe. Abe, he really believed in me. Mm-hmm. Always had. And it was light. I mean, 8,000, 10,000 or something like That's that. That's the first. First. Now, we got to break this down because yeah. I don't want nobody to think, I got 10,000, I'm independent artist. No, 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 no. I'm going to break it down. I'm like, break please, it down. please break this shit down. How to build up. $10,000. For what? Right? And we sat down and the ten and the 10K was to, you know, pay for a publicist. It was to, you know, get some music videos going. You know, I already had music. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's what the 10K was for. And um, we took the 10K. And I did that. Ended up paying for a little bit of publicity. Ended up shooting some more music videos. And then I had met my second investor. Mm-hmm. This cat, um, he invested like a million dollars. And we spent about, and it, what I'm telling you is, when we got to about two, three hundred, I was getting scared. Because I'm like, yo, G, like, that's a lot of money to owe somebody. You and feel what me? was y'all doing with the two three hundred? Once you got in, so could you break that down? So two three hundred, we a lot of mistakes. paying. There was a lot of mistakes. We coming in the game. We don't know anything. We're spending money on different people. Um, How much of that two three hundred you gave to Karen? Sixty k, mm. eighty thousand to Wendy Williams. I mean, not Wendy mm. Williams. Wendy um, Day. Day. Wendy Day. Eighty thousand to Wendy Day. Mm. And. Um, no, she but did. Wendy kept in touch. Wendy, Wendy did. Wendy process. did. A good, Wendy did a good job. Mm-hmm. Um, she helped. She helped build an independent label that we started, and um, you know, she was she was basically um, facilitating um, some of the promo tours and some of the things that we had to do, um, facilitating you know just basically just telling the investor where to spend it, how to spend it, you know, things like that. Um, and then, then, I, then I got into then I got involved. Mm-hmm. So me, I started managing Joiner. Yeah. And it was really just on the marketing side. Advertising, things mm-hmm. like that, right? 
So I already had a mar- marketing company. He didn't start as a manager, though. Mm-hmm. He started as someone. I had that, my own marketing company. I didn't even want to talk to this mm-hmm. on the phone me and him at the did, time. Me and him didn't mm-hmm. talk forever. I had <laughs> another manager that was like, yo, you got this is one cat. He knows what he's doing online. You should probably talk to him. And I was like, man, I'm done talking to this online. I don't want to talk to nobody. And he was like, all right. And months and months and months of him like, yo, you should talk to this cat, talk to him. I finally hopped on the phone with this London, you know, I was like, hey, bruv, hey, uh, bro. That's Australian. That's my bad. Bro. Whatever. But you was already one hundred and forty thousand in. <laughs> we was already. Gave away we, was like, we was like three. No, three, four. Change. By the time we got with him, yeah. But, but you, but, him. but I just want to be, you know, yeah. get to get to get to get get get. I just itemize it because I want to know. Yeah. You said you gave. Money to Karen, you gave money to Wendy Day. They ran a radio and campaign because I know about how it, much was that? All right, so that break happened. it down. Yeah. Go ahead, right? So they did, they did like a radio campaign, maybe like thirty thousand. <laughs> okay, you know, to to put a radio at mix show, you're gonna mm-hmm. pay thirty right out the gate. One seventy. Mm-hmm. So that's what they were doing with him. Mm-hmm. They'll go mix show. They pay thirty thousand. Boom. Mm-hmm. See what happened, right? And so, um, um, there was advertising mm-hmm. within that four hundred probably. Mm-hmm. So there was probably about thirty thousand in advertising, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? And that advertising, how that happened was, it was like, that budget was like, try get something to work. Mm-hmm. So we're getting these consultants who that, that are saying they can do this and they can do that. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. You know, we're getting radio over here. Mm-hmm. Make sure, let's see what that does. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Uh, we're going to do some advertising over here, mm-hmm. right? None of that was really resulting into anything, okay. right? Mm-hmm. Now, I get involved. I meet his business partner. I meet Joyner. And we just start working, right? Mm-hmm. So we've never met. This is all remote now mm-hmm. at this point, right? So he goes, all right, let's do the advertising. I was like, cool. So we take the budget and I say, let's put it on Facebook. And this is in 2014. How mm-hmm. much? About 30000 mm-hmm. Dumped in Facebook. And did right. you back? Was the 30000 dumped in Facebook off for a video or song or a project? Video. So look, One this, video. This, so this is what happened. <clears throat> Facebook opened up video. Mm-hmm. Right, and when they opened up video, it wasn't monetized or nothing. So mm-hmm. you could do whatever, like you could throw whatever video up you want. They're not gonna block it. Mm-hmm. So now I you got can't. It right even... here. This is what. This is what. This is what. This is 2013, mm-hmm. right? Producing, distribution, engaging, licensing. licensing, music videos, branding, branding, packaging, packaging, <laughs> business team, mm-hmm. lawyers, mm-hmm. Um, path forward. Mm-hmm. Begin partnership with Wendy. Set up structure of company. Set up publishing and sign contracts. Company agreement. Artist agreement. Mm-hmm. Begin um, procuring beats. Creating the, um, my my project. Mm-hmm. Three to five music videos. Mm-hmm. One industry feature single. Fifteen tracks total. One short film to introduce. Any, you know what I'm saying? Marketing, radio, video, tour, online, street team. Path so now the right. budget had to go so to these like, things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So now it's dispersed. Right. All right, cool. So we start spending advertising. So this happens. This already happens. Mm-hmm. Now we meet. Mm-hmm. I say, yo, let's do advertising. Let's mm-hmm. just put 30 up over here. On Facebook. Right? So I show him what's going on. And he goes, all right, this makes sense. Go ahead. Just do it. At this point, let me try it. See mm-hmm. if something else stick. Mm-hmm. And then it was like two months. We're doing this, right? He calls me. He goes, bro, whatever whatever you're doing on the advertising, don't f- stop. He goes, this radio sh- Ain't, this ain't working I guess at this point The consultants And all that mm-hmm. Wasn't working right mm-hmm. So he goes Just keep doing What you're doing there Because mm-hmm. in my inbox I got like 200 messages Every day Of people telling me They love my music mm-hmm. So I know it's getting heard now mm-hmm. Right And so We took that formula Built the page up To about 70,000 By then Me and him Started talking so now he's starting to understand the platform and how it works And mm-hmm. you know The triggers on the platform That make shit go viral mm-hmm. He drops Ross Capriccioni on the page, and it just takes off, and we go up to like two hundred thousand. Yeah. That was the first piece of content that just took the whole page. Mm-hmm. Once he saw that, then he started dropping more content on the page. We took the page to a million followers. So we didn't do anything but advertising to get the Jordan Lucas brand off the ground Thanks. on Facebook, and yeah, we just yeah. picked one platform and said, "Let's just focus here." Instead of spreading it out everywhere mm-hmm. let's just focus here we got one thing to work mm-hmm. and it's so hard to get one thing to work right? mm-hmm. so when you get one thing to work you're supposed to just keep going mm-hmm. on that Down one on thing it. that works right mm-hmm. so we did that on that one platform got it to a million then the trickle down effect started happening mm-hmm. where youtube started growing naturally because mm-hmm. he's got music videos mm-hmm. and then instagram and all the other platforms started growing mm-hmm. um but during this time though now i had to convince my investor 
to spend money. Spend more money right? on this So song. when Drew came into the picture, <laughs> what was different about Drew was he was on some like, listen, I don't want to get paid. I want to just show you what I can do, right? Mm. Let me, I, don't, I don't want you to pay me. I just want to prove to myself that I can break an artist, right? And I feel like you're the, you're the person, you're the perfect person that I can break because you understand what I'm trying to do. You make storytelling. Like I know you can connect with a certain demographic and he worked for free, right? For like a year, mm. right? And it was just- I think like three. <laughs> Yeah, but nobody's counting. You. Yeah, he ain't gonna remind you. Four years, nigga said no. Nine hundred days. <laughs> so then, then say, look, man. He said, look, let me have a talk with you. You know, and this we ain't even met yet. He said, look, I just want to know that I have a place here, bro. I don't want to feel like I'm doing this. Shit so two years in, we've never yeah, met. Never met. Mm. Pages taken off. It's growing. Are you doing working. all this from London? And we're working. No, rem nah. remote. Um, no, I was in uh, Florida. Okay. No, San Francisco. San Francisco. I was in Sa yeah. yeah, so remote, just working, never met. Yeah. Um, You're then, bad, man. And then the thing was, I was like, what I'm thinking this whole time is we're going to figure something out here, and then I'm going to be able to create some type of model that I can sell to a record label or something yeah. like that. So mm -hmm. I'm not even thinking management at this mm -hmm. point. You know you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so... Um, My relationship... And the deal with my manager at the time was coming to an end. And I didn't necessarily want to renew the contracts because that manager, my investor, was clashing. Mm -hmm. And it was putting me in an awkward position. Mm -hmm. And I had to choose. Mm -hmm. You know, and, you know, I ended up choosing to rock with the investor. That money. You know what I'm saying? Go go that route. You're taking money over listen, knowledge. It's hard to get somebody to believe. Listen, artists, yeah, artists, right. artists think it's easy to get yeah. somebody to put money up yeah. and invest in them. Yeah. Bro, like for somebody to take their money and invest in an artist, that's the hardest thing, bro. Yeah, because at the end of the day. That's like trying to win the lottery, bro. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I work for this money. Right. And then if I invest something and in a smart investment, you invest, you don't see nothing back. Then you invest, you don't see nothing back. You are not investing again because you like my nigga, this shit don't make no sense. Right. At certain some point, I gotta see some money back. Right. I ain't seeing no money back. So for you to get an investor, right. that's like so. Listen to this. This is where shit is crazy. So that relationship, our um, business relationship with the um, old manager dies down, and I um I asked Drew right. I swear, I got into it. So, baby moms is pregnant, mm. and I'm real stressed out at this Life point. Life on the line. Just paid Karen Civil, mm. my last ditch effort. She stung you. Yeah. <laughs> stung him like a beehive. And I got to a real, like, you know, depressed state, and I, and I needed some bread because my kid was about to be born. And I had asked Drew, I said, yo, like, I need some help, bro. We got to figure out something where I can get some bread somehow. And he was like, how about this? Why don't you come meet me in person, bro? Like, we never met, right? Come fly out Working here. Working like year and a half. Right. I pay, you, I pay you a plane ticket. Come meet me. I went to Florida. And I went to, went to Florida. I oh, met. Drew had to get you a plane ticket. He, he was bought me a broke. I was down. I was Damn. down. I was yeah. down for sure. He Pause. was cracked like the Liberty Bell, huh? Mm -hmm. 100%. So he got me a plane ticket. I flew out to Florida. And we went out to- And this after running through an independent million yeah, dollars. Yeah, No, I didn't no, run no. through all the millions. No, yeah. no. We, had full, three. we have three, four right now. Three, right. four. We're going to get to the rest of it. Three. So at three, four, yeah. he's still in this situation. You right. Know what so I went to go see Drew for the first time, right? And, you know, he took me to um, to go either hungry. And I was like, yo, I'm starving. He took me to this hot end restaurant. And I'm like, yeah. He opens up the menu, goes, man, these prices is too much, bro. It's Let's crazy. go somewhere Let's else. Let's go somewhere else. I mean, the steaks is like fifty dollars, sixty dollars. But at the time, again, G, like I'm, I'm messed up. Mm -hmm. So, his cousin is actually at dinner with us. Uncle, your uncle, first I'm time I've ever, uncle. first time I'm ever meeting his uncle and Drew. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting at the table, and his uncle, within the first two minutes of us sitting there. Pulls out a stack of ten thousand dollars, puts it on the table, and says, "Yo, that's for you." You like? I'm like, what? He's like, "Yo, just put it in your pocket. Don't worry about it. 
I'm not doing this, like, you know what I'm saying? Like this, I'm doing this for him. He, he, you know what I'm saying? And he told me he wanted to help you, but you know, I know he's not in a position to, to do it. You know what I'm saying? So he don't even know I'm doing this right now, but because I believe in him, Damn. I believe in you. Boom. First time I, I, met, I met either one of these right? and I'm just sitting there looking at this shit, like about to cry, right? Cause like, that's the type of shit, that's the type of nigga I am. Yeah. You feel I me? Mean? That's the shit that I do. So to me, so I knew the moment that he did that, like this is where I'm supposed to be. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like yeah. these are the n- I'm supposed I can to feed be. My daughter, right? I can. I went in the bathroom real quick, and I'm counting this. Sh- I'm like, damn, he's gave me like ten racks. I come back, Drew's like, Yo, I didn't know he was gonna do that, G. Like he did that. Sh- like, what happened was I had like three, four thousand in my pocket that I was gonna give him later. Mm-hmm. You said he don't need it now. Yeah, and my uncle knew that. My uncle knew I was gonna do that yeah so he just it's like and then he was like thank you he's like don't thank me thank him he's like we good shout out to Kanal yeah. shout out to Kanal that's a real shout out to Kanal introduce me to that no no I'm not big old 30 for you Gilly but what it show you is what it show you is what that right there show you is that the people that really rock with you they ain't gotta be where you live at, you ain't got to know them your whole life, all that day one shit. It'd be a day three, the, energy, the ones bro. that really connect. It's, energy, it's good energy. I think yeah. he felt good energy for me. Right after that, right, I'm like, okay. My head back in the game. you like, it's on now. It's on now. Baby about to arrive. Baby too. about to arrive. I got a little bit of bread now. I can take yeah. care of my son that's about to arrive. We got to get, we got to now, we got to start moving. So 300, yeah. some change spent. And now... Now, you know, mind you, he's he's yeah. dropping music. So you're talking Ross Capriccioni's out. You know, he's he's done records. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, that's yeah. on gold. That's yeah. out, right? Mm-hmm. So there's records that's out. Um, mm-hmm. getting to the deal with Atlantic. All right, so we're gonna we'll do high level on this because there's so too many details if you do. But look, you signed a deal with Atlantic. Before we right? signed the deal to Atlantic, I was already at eight hundred, nine hundred. I'm thousand, you know what I mean? Like in debt with Cat. And there was a point where with the advertising and everything. There was a point him. where I was so defeated. After the whole Karen, I was so defeated that I hit my investor and I said, Yo, bro, I said, I I'm just ready to give up at this point, bro, because I feel like I owe you too much money. And I just I feel bad, bro, because you're spending all this money and we're not making nothing back right now. And he's like, Nah, man, you're not quitting, bro. Mm. We're gonna keep doing this shit. You're gonna you're gonna Get on. You're gonna do songs with Eminem. You're gonna. I swear to God, God may strike me dead right now. He said, "We're not quitting. You're gonna do songs with Eminem. You're gonna be a, a big artist, bro. And I'm not letting you stop. So stop talking like that." I was like, "That's my investor, bro. Mm-hmm. He didn't let me quit. Like mm-hmm. that. Don't worry about the money, bro. Mm-hmm. Keep going." Shout out Sean. Shout out to my Sean, bro. Sean. That's my brother. Shout out Sean. Shout out Sean, man. Mother- Money longer than Broad Street, man. Yes. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I got you, nigga. We, I'm, I'm 900,000 in the hole. Yeah. You ain't quit. I'm like, what? Sean, you're a hell of a dude. Yes. I'd have been, I'd have been, yeah, I think it's time to get his shit up. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, I'm going to give you some money part ways. You're going to have a dime for you. <laughs> Take care of that baby, man. I'm the f out of here, man. We ain't made no money. <laughs> Sean was a hell of a nigga. Man. The real and he believed in everything that he said was gonna happen, happened. And to this day, let me tell you something. Signed my deal, got got on the uh, label, got off the label, became independent, got rich. And to this day, I make sure that Sean get paid every month, and that's gonna be forever, right? Forever. As long as I'm good, I'm gonna make sure that Sean is good. Cause if it wasn't for Sean. I wouldn't even be here right it's now. Safe to say, Sean got his money back for sure. He got oh, his yeah. He, yeah, he, he good. He's, he, he's way good, but he's gonna continue to be good. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make sure of that right. That's right. just what. That's just real. Mm-hmm. It's not like oh, you did this for me. You got paid back. Move it. It's like nah. You changed and you saved my life. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. So, you know, you're gonna be straight. That's so, that's real. So, so before we signed to Atlantic. You're about making ten thousand a month, maybe, mm-hmm. in streaming revenue. Mm-hmm. About ten thousand a month, right? So, you sign a deal. Now we don't have to pay for it technically. 
<clears throat> now the label pay for it, right? Right. Cool. They probably spent maybe what a mil. I say they spent. I don't know though because with labels you can't really see. Yeah. You yeah. can't yeah. see yeah. what they're spending. They're not going to show you what they're spending and what they well, do the show costs you. Costs are crazy. Yeah. But if they do show you, they didn't spend that. Shit, you know? It's like oh, we spent. 150 with radio cap. No, you didn't. All right, so let's let's just say on the books it's an M, cap. Mm -hmm. but probably say 600, right? Five, cool. six hundred thousand. Right, five, six hundred thousand. You gonna give me a right. first class flight? Like when I went to shoot a video with Eminem, I'll try to get a first class flight. They wouldn't let me get a first class ticket. Said you wasn't. There Said that yet. I wasn't there yet. Mm. <laughs> you want you want to do on his way to just shoot a video with Eminem, man. Plane ticket like six seven hundred dollars. They wouldn't do they it. They said no. You ain't mm. calm down, chill, man. Yeah. But then double back on the year. We but well, I'm not saying man. these things to try to like throw them under the bus. It's really just because like this is what happens. It's really what happens. Labels. Not real. This is the the reality of it, right? But here's the thing: if you're gonna sign to a label, yeah, just know you're gonna have to work within their template, right? They have a infrastructure set up, and now it's like a franchise. Absolutely, because they got They're a franchise. They got a bunch of niggas on this label, man. Yeah, yeah. they got a bunch of. That you never gonna hear about. They, these I'm talking about thousands of this a tax write off. Yep. Delaware Donnie, Jersey Joe, <laughs> Iowa <laughs> Derek. And you know what? The all them. You know what? You know how he know he was a tax write off. Shit. He went wood. <laughs> he went copper. <laughs> that, that went plastic. Don't be laughing at him. He went ten times him. plastic. He was a write off. That's how he know. Warner Brothers. <laughs> He first was of all, Warner Brothers. First of all, I never put no Universal. I, I never put no album out. You was, you was with, with you, Universal. I never put no album out. Or 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 Swab or, House. Or they wrote you off. They, they, they gave me some money. Yeah, but they wrote you off. They gave me some money, and all my advances was good. You know, so uh, yeah, you know the game. You know the game. I'm an advanced man. <laughs> I'm a Twenty times man. Plastic. Twenty <laughs> times plastic. I didn't put that down. How the fuck? Twenty times. I never was given never turned in the album. I was never given. I was never given the opportunity. That's how you know he was a write off. They wrote him off. Hey, that's cool. They wrote me off all the way to I wrote me in. Yeah, you right, brother. You right. You talk about five round go by ten percent of Universal. You talking about? You want to go in with me? I might wrong. They on TikTok no more, man. They took all the sounds off TikTok. Universal. Yeah. Why? Yeah. yeah. Like mm -hmm. I don't know. Like I guess they're not paying out the money that they were supposed to get or something. You didn't hear about that? Yeah. It's man. getting real. Yeah, yeah. it's getting real. It's, it's I do my research real. tonight. Let me ask you this question: How you feel about the Kendrick Drake? <laughs> piece? I love it because me personally, I, I I think it's a sport, man. Yeah. I think when when we leave it to just rapping and it's a sport and mm -hmm. nobody ain't gonna get hurt, they ain't mm -hmm. seeing each other at the mm -hmm. awards, socking each other and mm -hmm. getting into that type of shit. It's just a sport. Mm -hmm. I love it, man. The bars is fire. I love it. I was a little bit um, I was I was confused because I know like I know Drake was working with Future, right? So it was like I felt like I didn't know if they had a relationship or not. But then for Kendrick to get on there and then throw shots at Drake, I'm like, how does that work? Because Future and Drake must be beefing, man. Yeah, they gotta be, man. I don't know. Yeah, because if you're my man's and he. Yeah, you're you not know, getting on my track throwing no yeah, shots yeah. at my man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. that's, oh, yeah, that's on my first single. Right. Would you try it's, it's to the let single me? Too. Drake was just on the single. Now, a lot of times when they have been be about a man, I'm just trying to tell. I don't know if that's the situation, but I'm just saying yeah. a lot of times when with a lot yeah. of money fall out, it'd be about a bit. I think I think Kendrick went off on it. I think he went off and he did his shit on it though. I think that um he's shaking. Up at this point, right? And it's like, I'm not mad at it. I wish I love it, man. Yeah, Cause I'm waiting I'm to see what it. Drake and Cole gonna come yeah. back and say. Yeah. You know what I mean? I that's what that's what hip hop was based mm -hmm. off, man. Mm -hmm. LL, Kumo cool D, mm -hmm. uh, MC Shan, KRS one, my Tupac, Biggie. My, that's what it was based off of, man. Oh, you think you better than me? It's like basketball, man. You mm -hmm. think you better than me? What's up? Take this with you. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh, oh, that's the best you could do. Take this with you. That, that's what this is based off nice. of. You, Hove did it. You don't want it with Hove. Nas nah, came right back. Mm -hmm. You fan, you phony, a snake, a, a stand, a steel whip your ass. You thirty six in a karate class. That's you. That was you. That was you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nas was talking yeah, about you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking Nas was talking about this thing. You 30 
86 of the Utah Bo Ho. <laughs> He's in the karate class? Yeah. Yes. The black belt. <laughs> the black belt. <laughs> yes. no, I thought he was Man, right. pink belt. Manga got his <laughs> in prison, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you no, crazy. but see, this the whole twist, though. It's like, and then it get crazy because rap became so sensitive yeah. that you can't even like, it is like, you know, when you look at things like Jay-Z and Nas, which is one of the biggest hip-hop battles, uh, they wound up being cool and doing business afterwards. Mm-hmm. No, Jay was being funny. Nas baked him. Jay signed him. Get over here. Sign him. You signed to me now. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, whatever the course may be, it's like they did, <laughs> no, bin- just they did business afterwards. <laughs> yeah, they did. That's why sometimes, you know, people just got to watch the sport and be like, enjoy the sport. But it, but but I'm glad that it seemed like it's getting back to the sport, whereas though we can see like that we can hear because what happened is for a while it got so sensitive i was doing that shit, like early in my career i was hopping on beats and like flaming and talking about everybody Jacking for beats yeah because 50 was, did that 50 was, came in i went out i was going over like little pump beats and going crazy on him i was doing over 21 beats you know i was just dissing left and right because i didn't give a fuck. It was like, i'm getting on like that shit. and then getting mad at me and then you know i became like you know, was calling me corny because I was just dissing for no reason, just because I was just yeah. trying to invoke a response and then like you know do my sports. But you know, I guess nowadays like that bit of corny, so I'm like, I bet so f- it. type. So I stopped. No, doing I tell you this. what though, yeah, I tell yeah. you what's crazy about the freestyles he he did yeah, though. Yeah, he had a show in Boston. There was like three thousand people, bro. I haven't ever heard a crowd of three thousand people rap and whole f- freestyle. A song I understand, mm-hmm. but a freestyle, mm-hmm. and they knew the word. You got you got different towns. To right, back, I'm gonna say this: crazy. Yeah. you got different towns as hip hop towns. Like when I say hip hop towns, like the Boston, like the New York, like the Philly, <coughs> like mm-hmm. in certain towns, it's like they, it, because it's different levels of rap now. It, it expanded more to where it was just hip hop. Mm-hmm. Boston is a hip hop town. They're gonna mm-hmm. know every lyric. They're gonna they're gonna know hip hop. Hip hop. There's certain places that you go. Buffalo. Now uh, you talk about regular Boston or Bobby Brown Boston. I don't know which one is different. Uh, I, I, you know, shout out to Bobby Brown, boss. Listen, so so my whole thing is like certain spots they're gonna know that stuff. I know you go to certain spots and it's a different reaction, a different support. Like they more tuned into like you you you're hip hop, mm-hmm. like as they would say, you're real rap. Mm-hmm. You're from the. A lot of people don't. But that know. freestyle you can only get on YouTube. It's not like you yeah, can. Yeah, it's not but, like but, back but, in the day. You know right. where you're fed it. Like you, right. the, I, I the person would have to go to YouTube, <clears throat> listen to it mad times, just but, to but, know the words. But you, right. understand. you can't get on Apple. You gotta understand. <laughs> YouTube <laughs> is, CD. is the biggest place because it's free. It's free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the only place. I, I, everybody don't got Apple. Everybody ain't got Title. Everybody ain't got Spotify. YouTube so, free. So the kids and everybody, regular person, they just play YouTube, put a playlist on, and play it in their car, be driving around. Mm-hmm. YouTube playing, you know you could do that, right? Mm-hmm. Put the playlist, and so so that's where a lot of people, a person that listen to all his stuff, that's all playlist out in the car, going to work, or in, or, in, or at work, with the back brace on, in the, in, in the warehouse. So you know, you always talk about that back brace. You waiting for your piece to get out on you? He trying to get a back brace. No, Nigga, no, one out on him, man. Always with a back brace. <laughs> In the warehouse. <laughs> then he had his own with the suspenders on. Any nigga wear back brace, man, you like you, you you ain't too far from your d- going out on you, man. <laughs> when you d- go out on you, you're done, man. You're done. Man without a good man without a clip is like a soldier without a clip, man. Man without a d- like a soldier without a clip. <laughs> yeah, I hate you. You guys out there in war yeah. for no reason, man. You're yeah. done. Let me yeah. ask you a question. When it's all said and done, though, who you think gonna win this battle? Oh, damn. Now hold up, hold up. We can't. Mm, say that's that. a good question. A, Look, battle, I got it. I a got battle, it. a battle was different. You know, even with Jay and them was joined, it, Funk Flex drop or whatever. It was a back and forth. It wasn't that we got to wait for a bunch of for a bunch of time to go by. Then a response. But yeah, we but we, wait. but but I would say that I don't think I don't we I don't think we've ever heard Kendrick ever have to go back and forth with somebody, right? But we've heard Drake do it, and we know, and we've seen. What happened when he did do that? Mm-hmm. Right when he went with back to back, you know we've seen. And it we, wasn't even a battle. He just made a great record. Mm-hmm. Right? Made everyone sing that record, mm-hmm. and you were done. Yeah, it was. A, it was. A, it was. A, so that's a different type. So of it's power. like we know. We know. What <laughs> so you say, Drizzy, nigga. 
Say it, nigga. Don't, don't try to beat her. Nah, 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 nah. nah. But like, I, but, people but, that love lyricism is gonna go. But, and, but, you know but Kendrick saying? come. But I know Kendrick's li- lyrical capabilities. <laughs> so it's like I've never seen him in that space. But I know that when he gets into that space, because I'm a very lyrical artist, I feel like he's about to he's about to rip somebody's head off. I'm gonna say this. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. The greatest thing about this is that we got the biggest dudes in the game doing it. Yeah. So right. now, so now, so now, it's, it's like you got to salute it. And be like, okay, this healthy. Yeah. The yeah. big, the biggest. That's not cap. We not yeah. going to cap. Like if somebody don't take no offense. The biggest dudes in the game. Yeah. Right. They want this. The big game. This the big league. Yeah. Like so, they making it popular again. Me, but this yeah, is what we on. Let me Ain't ask you a question. Do you, do you, you think because you because you are rapper? Everyone too rapper. Right. So no, too do you think anybody in that space can with you? Like if they like on the battle like. If you like, do you in think there. anybody in that space like no, it's cool, it's cool. You might be bigger than me as far as record sales or whatever, yeah. but when it come to this, y'all don't want to do that with me. You think any? I'm not saying. No, I'm just saying anybody in that space in this rap. Do you think they can fuck with you on on some going back and forth trying so to test I you? Had, so I had a back and forth like that with Tory, right? Mm-hmm. Tory Lanez. Yeah. I, where the f- was I? At? Me and Tory yeah. did. Um, we yeah. had a few back and forths, right? What was that? When was that? I don't know. Is that John who Coleman? won? So listen. No, who won? So who won? No, no, Did you defraud my man? On, hold on. Let me. I, I, so nah, I, it was, so I look at it. So I would say this, right? So who he won? actually surprised me because he could spit. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, he could spit. I went crazy, right? On the, I think it was Liddy. I did the Liddy again. Mm-hmm. Liddy beat, yeah. Right? I went ham on Liddy, right? And then he responded over, I think it was a Lucky You beat or. Or well, might have nah, been Liddy. He Liddy. did Lucky UB first. He did Lucky UB first. Twenty four hours within twenty four hours. I responded with with Liddy, with Liddy right? Yeah. But I was already writing Liddy before he even did his, because I had a feeling he was going to do that. So I had like a week, so I was pending my, shit. and then a he week. was yeah. I had a week. Last no week bro. No, this, shit, this happened from a phone call like this with you on IG live. Mm-hmm. You on IG live like this. Mm-hmm. He called you out on IG live. He said he gonna do a record. Then he dropped it because he was in the studio. No, lucky you didn't happen. Lucky you didn't happen right away, nigga. He was in the studio. He said he gonna pen it up right now. But it didn't happen right away. That shit dropped. Hit lucky you dropped in like four, two days five, from that maybe. Maybe four days from that. But in that time, I was penning, and then, um, then he dropped the lucky you. Shit. I went ham on Liddy, right? And then he responded back, and I was like, oh, shit, this nigga is going in. And then at the time, I was working on this uh, freestyle over the ZZ um, beat, the um, Kodak Black. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I might as well just make this the third disc, but I fucked up, right? Because I chose the the wrong wrong beat. beat. I picked the wrong beat. It was like I was already planning on releasing that as one of my freestyles. So I picked the ZZ beat. And then... I was so quick at trying to respond. I went like, but like it was still fire. It was fire, but it I was, felt like I f- missed that you because now nah, listen, listen. You took that as a lyricist. Hold on, he felt come like on, he don't lie. Don't, don't, don't lie. Let me get in. Let me. Get I don't think so. Tory got it. Can I free get Tory? <laughs> free Tory though, like free Tory. Yeah, absolutely. So I went. I was in a a race for time, right? Because I wanted to show that I can respond fast. So when People he dropped his. That. Like, I yo, was trying to respond crazy. within like a couple hours, right? I was like, I was trying to go, and I feel like I'm I misstepped a little bit because I'm like just I just started going off and writing and trying to be funny and yada yada yada, but it came off a little cheesy. I ain't gonna hold you, it came off a little cheesy, and I was mad at this, and I was mad at the engineer at the time, like yo, when I dropped Bro. the shit. Cause the <laughs> Wasn't bad, and it bro. wasn't nah. I thought like when I went Tory back and listened. You it was let bad. me hold on. No, 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 no. Listen, <laughs> no. We gonna get to that. Tory laughed at so it, not. and he was like, "This shit, though. he was mad." As fuck. <laughs> What's Tory was listen. laughing. What's no, up? What's he was song? laughing. Can I finish what I was gonna say? <laughs> What's up? That's what What's got song? to him. What's nah, that's not what it. Let me get. Let me tell you what happened. Nigga, I can't talk. Blame me. I got in the booth for real. Those lyrics, right? Like that was me, right? Right? That was a rush. Right. Like, no, I'm playing this. I'm playing this. You wrote that. But let me tell you what happened. <laughs> like I gave you the bars. I'm telling you what happened. So usually when I write, 
I have like a day to like sit on what I did and then I'll go back and listen to what I did and then I'll be like, that ain't it. But I'm depending on these to be the ears for me. Man. These wow, didn't tell me it wasn't. Okay, cool. Listen. <laughs> listen. No, he, listen, listen. Yo. He doing me, so. Yo, hold up, hold up. Nigga, we all getting Yo, listen. This small ass <laughs> couch, nigga, what you expect me to do? We used to three. <laughs> so look, so I'm, I'm, I'm like, damn, nigga, like when I put this shit out and I took a nap nigga, and I got up and I went back and listened to that shit, I was like, ah. Oh. I was like, why'd I say that? Why'd I do that? Yada, yada, yada. And then he hopped on live. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> it wasn't that why he do that. That happened afterwards. <laughs> the nigga hopped on live. And, and Tori funny. And Tori the funny <laughs> mm-hmm. that funny. pisses me the fuck off because uh-huh. he's just funny. And he got on, he got on live and he was listening to the shit live, right? And he was just stopping it and then just being like, Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, I was hot. <laughs> I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was hot. I was I'm in the like, crib swinging like the <laughs> boys in the hood. Yeah. <laughs> but I was more mad at myself because I'm like, damn, nigga. Like, it was his fault. I should have, I should have waited. Fire. I should have took my time and made sure that that shit should have chose no, no, another beat. Fire, I should have went crazy, but I'm gonna tell she you what. Fire. So yeah, on that record. That one record had more L. views than his I shit. I took an L on that record, for sure. Hands down, I took But let L. me ask you a question. What song did they play at your funeral? But he didn't respond. <laughs> Shut your ass up. He didn't. But he didn't respond, right? How he nah, whispered that? Yo, listen, yo, listen. Yo, he listen. whispered it. No, 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 listen. He, no, he, he, he didn't respond. He took that out. You know why he he didn't respond? <laughs> because he said this is so trash. I'm not gonna respond. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you really yeah. mad. You like, oh, yeah. I'm a yo, fuck. I ain't even gonna respond. Hey, yo, now, yo, now, you. now you stuck. Hey, yo, now, I'm, stuck with now that. I'm like, I'm you like, you want to go in again? You just let me <laughs> nah, nah, I just let now, that. If you did, it would have been fucked up. Bro, he just did. <laughs> yeah. I just let the nigga have that and was like, I bet. But my Liddy, the Liddy freestyle, nigga, I went crazy on that nigga, bro. Pause. It was easy with that. The cover <laughs> was fire, too. Yeah. You got to go back and listen I'm gonna to I'm going to go that back and check it out. You got to go listen to this. I'm a guy. I did not know y'all was Liddy, beefing. Now I'm listening to all that shit. Now, for the people out there, not now, and I'm busy, right? Yeah. What do you look for, man? What's your favorite tracks on the song? I'm in on the album. Um, my favorite record on the album, between the best for me record with my brother Jelly Roll on mm-hmm. there, which um talks about you know the opioid the opioid crisis. Yeah, I the, seen that. That's hard. And the fentanyl and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Um, that video yeah. is hard. I appreciate yeah. it, bro. That record is that record is probably one of my favorites besides um with Three Little Pigs. I got a song called The Three Little Pigs about. It's a story about three racist police officers mm-hmm. hunting down a black wolf. And I got a book, a children's book coming out called The Three Little Pigs. And I got a mobile app game mm-hmm. called The Three Little Pigs where it's a, it's pretty much like Temple Run, except, mm-hmm. you know, it's the wolf getting chased by the pigs. Mm-hmm. Um, so between that, Three Little Pigs, and I would say Last but not least, um, I really DMX, yeah, that DMX record. Mm. You know, that one was real. That was that was um, probably one of my favorite joints on there for sure. Just because X, you know, on that record he just sounds like he he's still alive. Mm. You know, how did how did that record come about? I spent some time with him, mm-hmm. with X. Um, you know, he he's, he taught me a lot about the game. And um, was it hard getting that record approved? Um, was it? No. no, it was pretty easy. Right. There was, was a relationship already with okay. him and X, so it yeah. was kind of like reciprocated, you know. Yeah, like, like we know X with yeah. you, so there's yeah. a couple. There's a couple. Yeah. There's a couple joints in the pipeline that I, a, a verses and shit I got me and him and shit, that's gonna drop too. But, um, but yeah, that you know him on that record, he sounds like he's still alive. Like he's saying, like I didn't go. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's major. Yo, I need you to use a bathroom. I need a piss, though. You got to take yeah. a shit? No, no, I need a piss, though. That's cool. You got to take a shit, man. <coughs> Go ahead. We, we race, you know. Yeah, we all going to be squeezed up, up in this corner. My bladder. Yeah. This time frame anyway. So uh-huh. uh, anything you want to say before we get out of here, man? Um, Make sure you download the album. Download not TikTok. Now, not now. I'm busy. Instagram. <laughs> 
for sure. Um, and then the tour, uh, the Not Now I'm Busy tour featuring my guy Millie's. And uh, that's ah, that's my guy, guy, man. Yeah. Um, from May to 11th to June 22nd. So make sure y'all come check us out live. You heard? Mm-hmm. Not Now I'm Busy. Shout out to Gilly the Kid, Wallow. Appreciate you, Million Dollar you, Game man. Podcast. I'm proud of y'all. Thank you, man. Proud sure. of you too, bro. Keep going up, man. Make sure y'all y'all hit them tours. Make sure you get the album, download it, stream it, sure. TikTok it, Instagram it, put your videos up, whatever joints you f with. Support, support, support. He bringing you that real music, that real sh- that you can sure. ride to, listen to. Well, well, how many, how many city tour? I think it's it's just, it's um it's like 30 days. What up, boy? <laughs> What's up, kid? I'm good, man. I'm That's Simba here. right there. Shout out to my bro Simba. Man, congratulations on the new album, man. Thank you, G. You got cricket, Simba. Simba ain't got a cricket phone. So. Right. <coughs> Say he got a cricket phone. <laughs> you got a cricket phone over there. <laughs> okay, talk, uh, talk, heavy. Talk, heavy. Talk, talk heavy. Talk heavy. Talk heavy. Talk heavy. Talk heavy. What? Mm-hmm. Um, Good to see you on there, though, man. Yeah, man. You already know. Yeah, what's, what's up, dog? Uh, just let me know when to come cook you again. <laughs> oh, you cook that? You cook that, nigga? Cook that. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a cook this out, Jamal Crawford, man, and his son. I'm a cook this out of him and his son, man. You, I Listen, love you, man, brother. You, you, you know you up, right? You up. You got to figure out how to get to us, man. I know. You know we on the way. We, we here right now. Look. There we at. Y'all ain't playing. We waiting for you. We here right now. Getting it right. We waiting for you. All right. Love you now. Love you. Love you more, man. All right. Believe All right. that. But, shit, man, we got joint in this joint, man. We appreciate you for coming through. You know what I mean? Drew just had to take a shit. Yeah, Drew was bubbling, I playing for the Shitsburg <laughs> Steelers and shit. Starting linebacker for the Schittsburg Steelers. <laughs> he, said, he had to call one of my producers, yeah. Doctor. Ain't no toilet paper. Yeah. He had to run, bring him some toilet paper and she was. <laughs> well, you learned a lot today, though, man. Yeah, you gave him a lot of game. You gave him a lot of game, man. We appreciate you, man. Appreciate so, y'all. So make sure y'all go get that album, download it, stream it, TikTok. Not now, it. I'm busy, and I'm right. busy. Don't right. hit my line. Right. I'm always busy, and it's just like that. Right!